Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures. I'm here at Granny's Attic Antiques in historic downtown Clinton, Tennessee. It's gonna be a beautiful day, so come down and see me today. I will be here all day. We're open from 10 until six on Saturdays. So let's go ahead and take a walk through the store. We have probably, oh, 30 to 35 dealers in here. As you first walk in the door, this is actually my booth, booth FHV. Lots of uh, great items, glassware. We have our Franklin Farms jams and jellies. Lots of vinyl records. Um, artwork on one of the walls back here. And uh, tons of books on the back side of the booth over here. So uh, next, this is booth number 44. She always has lots of great painted furniture, as you can see, and more glassware. Uh, we, we get into booth 1793, which is the owner of Granny's Attic. She always has lots of very nice jewelry, both costume and sterling silver. Uh, she works together with booth 16 to uh, who also has a lot of jewelry more glassware here's more books on the back side of my booth uh, as we walk on down this is booth 47 she always has lots of great primitive items uh, as well as glassware and just other cool items she's always bringing lots of old true antiques and primitives in As we walk on down the aisle here, we get to booth number 85. And you can also visit her at Bearden Antique Mall where we have another booth as well. And then right next door to her is her brother, booth number 86. He's got comic books and then glassware, other collectibles. There's some more comics up high. I know we always have a lot of people coming in who uh, are perusing through his comic books. Then next we have booth O and A. She always has lots of uh, cute figurines, lots of animal figurines, if you like that sort of thing. And then just some other miscellaneous items. Uh, then across the aisle over here from her is booth uh, BB, or actually this is booth 88. You can see some of the things that she has. And then next door to her is Booth BB. And he's another one, usually has primitives, uh, just old antique items. And then here we have Booth 7489, lots of collectible plates and canister sets, then just a whole display case full of cool stuff, mugs, you can see some of the other things that she has. Then we move over here into booth six and they are constantly bringing new stuff in. As you can see lots of glassware. They always have lots of books and it looks like right now uh, their books are all 30% off as well. Some mirrors. And then just some more stuff from their booth. We've already looked at her booth. And then we move into the back room here and this is another 1793. So this is another one of our owner's booths. You can see all the vinyl records that she has. And more vinyl records over here, glassware. I love her rug and her booth here. And then moving on down the way here, Booth 4142, she usually has candles and glassware, a few books. And then booth 616, uh, and then a couple of cases from booth BB, which we saw some more of his stuff on the other side. And then booth 616, you can see she's got snow globes, a lot of music boxes, some artwork, a cool, Porcelain Christmas tree, lots of small precious moments figurines. 
and then we will move over here to booth 127 she's actually one of our top sellers nutcrackers she always just does a very good job arranging her booth head vases lots of vintage and antique glassware and hoop her booth as well some cool figurines and you can see lots of lots of real pretty stuff and then next booth 25 she always has lots of kitchen items tons of cookbooks you can see there in the middle um, she just has a lot of little a lot of gadgets and things of that nature as well as salt and pepper shakers A few books, very eclectic mix of things. So moving on down the way, this is booth L3. And in addition to uh, figurines, vintage glassware, uh, she's also very creative. And a lot of times we'll have stuff she's made in the booth. She uh, actually made the shirt that I have on here. And then as we move to the back side of this booth, you'll see booth 59. If anybody needs a jacket for the game, there's a Tennessee jacket, an old saddle, some decanters. So then we will move to booth Deb. And you can probably guess what her name is. <laughs> she always has lots of costume jewelry, sells a ton of this. And then lots of, I guess, I would consider vintage, fine glassware, Fenton, uh, things of that nature. She sells a ton of the, the glassware out of her booth. She also has some DVDs and CDs in the booth as well. And then just a couple more booths to go. Uh, our owner also has a wide selection of the Candleberry candles. Uh, they're incredible. I don't know exactly how long they burn, but they last forever and smell really good. And then booth one, right behind the cash register here, right next to the cash register or other, an old sled. Uh, she always has lots of great antique items in her booth. Lots of good blue scenic china here. And then last but not least, we will move into booth 14. Really cool old antique hall tree. There's lots of, lots of great antique items uh, in her booth as well. So I believe that is it. As we walk back down here towards the cash register, this is the backside of my booth once again. You can see Kentucky Derby glasses, lots of bird items, ashtrays, beer glasses, and then some more of our Franklin Hill Farms products. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the walk around the store. And if you're in Clinton, uh, come down and see me. Once again, uh, I'm Stuart from Franklin Hill Ventures. You can visit me at www.franklinhillventures.com. You can also visit our Bearden uh, location in Knoxville at Bearden Antique Mall. Everyone have a great day.